We're on the main square at Lord's and I want our guest today, Stephen Finn, to imagine that he's bowling in a match and the batsmen are on top on a hot day, but how do you actually try and make the batsman slightly intimidated to try and psych a batsman out? Um, I find I'm one of the more smiley fast bowlers, I suppose, like not all the time, but I think that I bowl better and play better when, I'm, when I've got a smile on my face, like rather than beating myself up or trying to get in too much of a battle with someone else. I think that there are subtle things that you can do to let the batsman know that you're in business. Um, I think using your bouncer as a fast bowler is very important because it means that a batsman can't just sit on the front foot to you. Um, and I think that, you know, stares, it's all a charade really, uh, like stares saying anything. I think that you'll try and sow seeds of doubt in a batsman's mind sometimes about his technique potentially or a way you're trying to get him out, like subtle field changes to make him think that you're doing something um, that you're potentially not, that you're just sticking with the same plan. It's just a very subtle field change, such as putting square leg out, thinking that he's going to get a bombardment of bouncers, um, bringing a mid-wicket across to make him think you're going to bowl straighter to him, but continue bowling at like a fifth, sixth stump line. Um, I think there are various like subtle things that you can do as a fast bowler that actually help you play a mental game with the batsman. Um, but for me, myself, a lot of the time, I just try and keep it as simple as possible. Say a, a dominant batsman smacks you for four. If he then sees you with so shoulders slumped, looking a little bit disappointed, does that not give him one-upmanship? Yes, it does. You have to have good body language. You can't let a batsman know that he's like visually on top of you. Um, like statistically, they can be on top of you, but you can always come back. And as a bowler, you can always have the last laugh.